Hello, uh, welcome to this week's week in the life. Um, I'm just adding this bit at the start before we get to Monday in a minute. Um, yeah, fuel price um, this week was it's gone up again. I think across the board it's gone up. It's 101.29, and that was again with Morgan Fuels. Um, so yeah, but just the way things go. Hopefully, it'll be coming back down soon but a red today because this isn't actually doing this on friday um just to wait the next update i think it's going up again but luckily i filled up today so yeah um this week much better than last week overall as you're going to see in a moment so this is what i really wanted for last week really being the first one but you know there's lots of stuff going on this week um plenty of interesting jobs and been here there and everywhere so hopefully um you'll enjoy it um, so let's get on with it. Hello and welcome to Monday, Bank Holiday Monday. Um, as mentioned, a uh, small job uh, booked in from Nantwich to Newcastle on the line. Uh, it's a pallet of cheese. Um, just had to take a top layer off some of them plastic pallets so it was just a bit bigger than you know a bit higher for the height otherwise it would have fitted on if it was just on the standard pallet so just took the top layer off um, I'll insert a picture of it on the van now for anyone interested there you go very exciting I know um, so you know there's nothing else popping up there's loads of jobs um, through the big one who does all the COVID testing shipper um, from Telford, but as an hour off Telford, um, put a few speculative bids on some jobs going south because obviously there won't be many drivers and stuff, and it's a bit of a, a dead area really for work. Um, Telford usually, uh, I didn't get anything, um, so just uh, just on the way back now, just stopped and filled up, ready for tomorrow, um, and just hang around for a little bit, see if anything else pops up, but if not. Be sitting around the house all morning. Um, so tomorrow, yeah, I've got a quite a big, big-ish job to um, Gateshead from Congleton. Um, as I mentioned on f Friday, um, he should puts an extra ten pound onto the job, which was great. But hopefully, the job isn't a pain in the backside because, um, like I said, the shipper when you sort of collection can't know who's where it's going because i've just got a reference and then they just, when they get there they can't know where it's come from i've got a few notes on the on the booking but um it's just one of them so i'll let you know how that one goes um obviously gate said your north east is very hit miss there but yeah, again it's risk and reward i've got quite good money going up there um if nothing comes up i won't be coming back and having loads of dead miles be a waste of time stay up there and hope for something back um in the morning so we'll see how that goes. Um, again, thanks for everyone that's some of the comments on, on the last video. I know I've only got a few subscribers at the moment, but uh, hopefully get that up. Um, people can enjoy just seeing what I do and obviously can relate to what they do. And, you know, it's just all for information purposes and, you know, just a bit of a laugh to watch along, isn't it? Um, see, see what I do. Um, a big birdie, top man. He's giving me a message, um, really supportive, and I yeah, really appreciate that. He's, without his help um, on videos when I was starting up, I wouldn't really be where I am at the moment. So, you know, he's a top bloke. Um, hopefully get a few more subscribers. <laughs> um, so I, I doubt I'll be back today, but you know, never know what, we never know what will happen. Um, so we'll just go from there. Nice full tank, ready for the gate's head. Up the north, and... Let's go from there. I hope everyone has a good week. Um, let's smash May. <coughs> Hello. Tuesday. Uh, it's just gone 12. So um, it's on the incognito job uh, from Congleton to Gateshead, which has just been tipped 10 minutes ago. Um, like I said, he can't find where each, each other and where it's come from and all this, but. There's so many questions they ask you um, at the collection in there, and they weren't convinced at the drop-off. 
Um, we can't take this without paperwork and they did give me paperwork. So I just got them to sign it. Um, if anything comes back, I've done what I needed to do. I mean, the shipper's trying to disguise something or to protect something. I don't know the full details. Um, but at the end of the day, my job is to drop it off. I did the, follow the notes to the letter, but they had to sign a delivery note. So um, otherwise they wouldn't have accepted it. So that's been done. Um, there's actually one job popped up to, from Newcastle to Stoke-on-Trent. I went, quite, I thought it was low. That would have been an ideal job. I uh, don't know what happened, I didn't get it. Um, so, you know, that could be, as you know, a number of reasons. So that was frustrating, and one came up to Salford from Gateshead. And I, again, that was, I took that all day, and I went quite long again for a short wheelbase job, um, and didn't get that one. So, right, uh, anything comes up, I have to go a bit lower again just to get back, otherwise we're up in the tune tonight um, and see what comes back tomorrow. But we've got you know, the rest of the afternoon now, so... You'd hope something, there's a few jobs popping up, so fingers crossed something would come up. Um, just a small one, a uh, little thing that I do, uh, more personally, <clears throat> but it might be a help to yourselves. Um, the, night, the next morning, if I've not been to a collection, I use Instant Street View, um, just to get an idea, you know, actually visualize the pickup and the drop off. So, especially when you go somewhere new completely, uh, I think it really helps and it helped me. I was like, yeah, spotted that road, left, right, there, there it is, there's the gate. So a little tip there, instant street view. Um, it's pretty good. Um, you just get, like I said, if you've not been somewhere before and, and it could be a bit of a, a bar steward, then that's the best thing to do. It's not an industrial estate, it's a unit number, it's usually not too bad. But I use that quite a bit. Um, even in the day, even if I, if I pick up a job now, and I'm not sure I, w I could use it then just to give me a feel and just visualise um where it is so just a, as i sorry apologize for lighting this tesco car park it's um underground um so just go here quick loo break uh, get some lunch and then we'll just have to see what happens um so i will keep you informed see you later welcome to sunny ish salford <laughs> so uh after my last time probably about five minutes later uh job obviously popped up uh, to Salford, which from Gateshead, and it was literally two mile around the corner. Um, straightforward, pallet on, pallet off. Um, some ingredients to a food place in Salford. Um, didn't go too, didn't go too low and stuff. Um, for the day now, you're probably looking at two fifty there or thereabouts. So you can't grumble at that. And probably about thirty five minutes from home, something like that. But we're like I said, about quarter to four. So if you can get another minimum charge job in here, we'll be laughing. Um, that would be round off the day lovely if not then um, head back no problem at all uh, so good start to the technically starts the week um, after the bank holiday with the extra job I had yesterday so yeah pretty good um, again like I said it's the thing from um, mentioned last week I mean a lot of people say it's the risk and reward thing it's what I call it is go north so I don't forget get back down south or near home or south and back up north because if you're getting that you're getting the money going down and then the money coming back you get the then you can get the back load rate back up or a bit higher it wasn't a back load rate i got then but that's that's sometimes my philosophy if you can get a nice early job quite far north or quite far south and then try and get back um i think that's where you can uh, make the money um so if it's been a few jobs in the morning nothing yet nothing that really interesting to come up yet um but we'll see how it goes um so if I don't speak later, it'll be Wednesday morning. See you later. Good afternoon. Um, it's Wednesday afternoon. Um, looking at quarter past three. It's been a long day already. Um, yesterday when I left here, yeah, I was uh, just did that drop near Salford. Uh, nothing. I was looking for a small job, but the more I, you know, I had good money today, so it wasn't wasn't much of a concern. I was just hanging about a bit, just see if anything would come up. But I got the job uh, for today. Um, it's in like a village just down the road from me. Um, so that's where I grew up, actually, near my mum and dad's. It's down the road from where I live now. Um, so as I got the job, I was just like, it was tomorrow. It was this morning pickup. Um, I was just looking, like I said, on Instant Street View, which is something that's a little tip from yesterday. Um, I just couldn't find it. It's, it's a private address. I was like, it's on the way back, so I'll go. 
try and find it just so we can scope it out and I don't want to be rushing around trying to find a dress. So when I got down the, the road, it was big painted on a sign, um, the address. So it was a new build um, or a house there, they just rebuilt. Um, so I thought, well, chance to be arms into this, see if it's ready, because it's to Bristol. And it was nine o'clock pickup. But I thought if I can get Bristol, I can pick it up now and I can go to Bristol at my leisure. So yeah, got there. He said, yeah, it was just some, um, they're just in the inside of it and fit in the kitchen. It was just some units, two, sh two drawers and the lining, ply lining at the top, um, which there. So he just bubble wrapped that for me there. Took about 15 minutes and got that packed up. So that was brilliant because basically I set up at half six this morning um to go to bristol um got to bristol just after half nine quarter to ten and just before i got there job pinged up um on the covid shipper um up to manchester so i've been that just as i was getting there and just as i was pulling in to deliver um the drop off in bristol they rang and said that's yours so fantastic so you know paying off got there the night before got there early and got a job back immediately drop off was easy and then I picked it up very easy again it's it seems to be um a new might be new for me but the, i think the regus building is like a big office block and around the back they've got a little pod where they're doing it i think you book in and do your test there so it's like a little pod where the tests are being done um and by chance so i took it up to it's near manchester airport uh, i think it's the actual I think they must be running low in Manchester. I think it's the test for the, the, the test for the kits. Um, don't think that makes sense, does it? The test for the kits, kits for the tests. No. <laughs> yeah, so it's the stuff they use. Um, it's the testing kits. They must have run out and they're just running up supplies to here. Um, so I dropped them off and then job came up to Norwich from Manchester. And it's the place I'm at now, where I dropped off before. So I've dropped off the test kits. People have been tested. I'm picking them back up. I'm taking them to Norwich. So it's the same same place as I dropped off earlier in the day. Um, it says four pickup. I just spoke to the young lad there. And he said, oh, it's my second day. There's nothing else booked in. But can't really let them go before four. But then he said, come back around half past and we'll see if we can get you off earlier. So spot on if we can. That'll do for me if we can get off a little bit earlier. Uh, so today, you know, earnings wise, um, be pretty good. I mean probably it's over 380 and then obviously you got minus your costs um i know so i won't be going too much into financial details but you know say what i made in the day the running costs people are aware of what your running costs are across the board so yeah be 380 minus your costs so that's a, you know, a very very good day for a short wheelbase um adding to about over 250 odd yesterday so uh cracking starts to cracking start this week um so really made up about that we get to nr10 we might even see you might appear later in this vlog. Big Beardy himself. I have messaged the man. He said he's not on the run. I'll let him know when I get there. Might not be saying anything to him. Might get a picture of him. We'll whack it in the whack it in this vlog. So we'll hang on another about 15 minutes. See if this young lad will let the test go a little bit early, which would be like I said, that'd be fantastic. And then we'll hop down to Norwich. Uh, well, we'll stay over in Norwich and then we'll hope for something back in the morning. Or well, back north anywhere, to be honest. Um, and add to the good week that it's been. Right, so I'll see you later in Norwich. Hello, um, here we are in the Lenny Henry Hotel. All the hotels are available. So, yeah, eventually I didn't get that uh, pick up much earlier than 45 to 4 when the young lad gave me the COVID. Um, test take down to Norwich um, so tip that about 10 past 8 and then uh, met the man himself Big Beardy uh, we had a good chat top bloke um, and just shared experiences on the CX really and so forth so time it was barely about an hour of his time which I took which I'm grateful for um, but now it's about half 10 Um and I've been up since for first was half six with a couple of hours break in between. So um be time for bed. But luckily we've got a job in the morning. Uh pick up from Norwich Airport, going to East Midlands Airport, Castle Donington. So really happy about getting 
a job to get me started in the morning and get out of Norwich because notoriously it can be quite difficult. And then we'll go from there. But we you know we're nearly halfway back home. Uh, well, a bit more than halfway, to be honest. But um, and we should be okay for hopefully another couple of jobs. And that'll be brilliant. Um, and then me and Bev tomorrow night. And then hopefully be Mad Friday. So I'll be back in the morning um, at Norwich Airport, going to Castle Donington. Over and out. Hello and it's Thursday at around half past 11. Um, so the job uh, this morning, it was for nine uh, pickup from uh, on at Norwich Airport. Um, but got there, it's like, looks, I look at the times it opened, it was like nearly 24 hour operation type of thing. So got there just about 10 to eight, straight through security, straight to the pickup. Yep, yeah, and it was ready, so. That was brilliant. So got out of Norwich handy um, and headed up to East Midlands Airport after drop off. Uh, we've got these bookers, we're wary of the job, you know, with airports and security and finding it. And sometimes it can be the biggest pain in the arse in the world. But this one was a dream, an absolute dream. East Midlands, you just go straight through. No problem. Found a building, goods in, would ring a bell. Answer the door, there you go, there's your box. Signed, gone. Probably one of the easiest jobs we've probably ever done, to be honest, it was just straightforward. Uh, and obviously picking up a bit earlier always helps. Um, so just as I got there, job popped up about 20 mile away from Alfredson, which is where I am now, going to Crewe. Um, Crewe's down the road for myself. And it's been quite a busy week, so um, probably just nearly looking at, for both jobs, uh 155-ish give or take and it gets me enough home from Norwich so you know that's a winner for me um getting back from that area of the country. Um it says pick up before 1240 so I've come to Tesco to use the facilities and just get a drink. Um so I'm in Alfreton um it's, this pickup I've done the reverse I've done the reverse journey from crew to here before to the same place so I know where I'm going which is always a bonus um so this is just the other way around um from where i've dropped i've been crew to alfreton and now this is alfreton to the crew it's the same it's the same uh shipper and the same uh pick up and drop off obviously so we'll set off in about five minutes we'll get to the pick up and then we'll get to crew and then maybe home um because it's been a busy few days really really st early starts this week so um just have a nice few hours to relax do a bit of paperwork maybe um a few other bit odds and ends life admin <laughs> so yep um if i don't speak to you later we'll see you for friday end of the week and friday around my you know northwest is usually quite busy for the shorter jobs minimum charge jobs so if you can get a few of them in and then maybe up to yorkshire way and just do like a little up down up and across on a friday i won't be going too far away from home you could i'm usually you know nine times out of ten making quite decent money for a Friday and you're not going too far so let's see how it goes so see you later <coughs> hello it's Friday um what time are we on now it's 20 past two um kind of contradicting myself a little bit with this we've been Friday is stay local and Maybe Yorkshire, maybe even Birmingham, just, you know, don't go too far. So I was in Warrington and picked up a job to West Byfleet. I don't ask why, just south of Slough, isn't it? Um, if it being a Friday, it's usually a little bit busier everywhere. So it's more like risk and reward strategy, which I generally go with. Um, not paid off at the moment. Um, so, you know, I'm, you know, everyone makes mistakes. Uh, on the CX and I do as well and they would do it all the time but I think with it being a pretty good week earning takings wise even going back empty is not ideal obviously and of course it's not ideal but it's been really good um, especially on a day when it was I think 380 on one of the days so 
Um, and this is nearly 150 for this job. Yes, granted, might be empty, but if I can pick anything up um, just for the fuel money, then I'll be a winner. So I'll head back soon and just look out for uh, anything on the way back. Um, because we don't want to get stuck too much in Friday's traffic, because that wouldn't be ideal. So, yeah, we'll go from there. So it's been a much more interesting week. We've got a job booked in for uh, Monday already uh, with one of the shippers that have made give me quite regular work once to start the CX that did I got a job within the first week then he rang me and when after I got the job and we're asking me questions of my van and all this and said yeah we'll throw regular work your way uh, we, have, we, should, we, got, we haven't got many smaller vans or short wheel bases in the area and um, we've got an agreed rate with them um, so we don't need to negotiate on it the mileage they just send it through if I can do it um, it's a bit higher than you probably get on just through the CX. So that's always a good thing, is making them contacts, especially being new. So uh, I'll leave it there. If I don't come back, that will be it. Um, and we've been Friday, I'll try and get this up for eight o'clock on a Friday. I think that's what the time I'm going to hope for um, each week because um, I edit it on, on the move most, most days and we're all up to date. So we're ready to go on a Friday. Um, um, any comments there, a um, few likes and hopefully get a few more subscribers. Um, thank you very much for everyone that subscribed and everyone in the comments from last week's video. Really appreciate it. Um, and that could be it today, guys. See you later.